All right, guys, how you doing? And in the last tutorial, I already showed you how you can get this point simulation from Houdini to Unreal. And today I want to show you how you can spawn random meshes for each particle and also set a random rotation. This also works with just the point simulations in Unreal Engine, so you don't need the Houdini simulation for this. Let's start. First, we want to turn off the sprite renderer, because right now we're rendering the points as sprites that are these white dots. And that's the one here. We can just turn that off and create a new renderer and select mesh renderer. Right now, the standard mesh is selected, which are these axes, or is it called the gizmo? I think the gizmo is just for the rotation, right? I'm not quite sure. But um, we want to change this to a sphere. So we click on a little axis symbol up here, and we get the menu for the meshes, for the mesh renderer. And here we can select the mesh. We're just going to select the sphere, static sphere, and now everything is a sphere. It's a little bit big, so we want to turn the standard geometry or we want to turn the geometry down, but we could change the size here in the menu for this mesh, but the other meshes are going to be too big as well. So I want to turn down the size of every mesh we are rendering. So we're going to click on particle spawn and tick the mesh scale attribute. And here we can select 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. And now, as you, as you can see, every sphere is a lot smaller. So let's get on with the tutorial. Open the meshes. And we're going to add another one. So now we're going to add a cone. Just type in cone. And as you can see, it didn't change. So everything still is a sphere. That's because standard, the first geometry is selected and nothing else. So let's just quickly add another one. Let's add a cube, just a standard static mesh. And now, so we get a random mesh for each particle. We have to click on the little plus sign next to particle spawn, scroll down all the way and click on and click on set new or existing parameter directly. Then this little window will pop up where you can set parameters. To set a new one, click on the plus sign and under Mesh Renderer, you will find Mesh Index. Just click on that. And if you change the number here, like for example, to one, you see each particle is now a cone. This is because if we click on the mesh again, the cone has the index number one. So if we change the index number of our particle simulation, uh, it will now select the mesh with the index number one. But we, we don't want just one mesh. We want a random mesh for each particle. To do that, we just click on the little down arrow here and select random range integer. And you can already see it's randomly selecting, uh, it's randomly selecting either a sphere or a cone. But we also want cubes in here. So right now we have a range from zero to one. And if you can remember the cube has the index number of two. So we have to change the maximum index number to two. And now it's selecting a random number for each particle between zero and two. And that's how you select a random mesh for each particle. All right, but now as you can see, each of the particles has the same rotation, which kind of looks a little bit too uniform. To change that, it works in the same way. Just click on the little plus icon here. And here we already have a parameter existing. It's called initial mesh orientation. Just click on that. And this little window pops up. And as you can see, there's already random selected. And as you can see, each of the particles has a random orientation. I just wanted to quickly show you how this works because I looked a while for this and couldn't find anything. Uh, especially on YouTube, I found it hard to find anything specifically for this problem. Uh, maybe it's just me, but I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.